And right now at our state capitol, the big battle over how to regulate the state's oil and gas industry is about to begin. Yeah, Senate Bill 181 would usher in sweeping changes, including giving local governments more control and changing the makeup of the state oil and gas commission. Denver 7's Nicole Brady live at the capitol today. Nicole, the first hearing for that bill happening this afternoon. And before that, we'll hear strong opinions from supporters and opponents. Yeah, both sides are planning rallies. In fact, right behind me right now, you can see supporters of the oil and gas industry uh, getting ready for a rally they'll hold. And then just steps away on the inside of the state capitol, those who want more regulation of the industry will be holding their own rally. And among those supporters of the bill that we expect to hear from today, Aaron Martinez, whose husband and brother were both killed in that devastating explosion in Firestone back in 2017. She supports the inspection requirements and other safety provisions in Senate Bill 181. But there are pieces of this bill that are a lot more controversial, including giving local governments more authority over approving drilling. It also changes the mission of the Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission, directing the commission to make human health and environment the priority when granting permits. Opponents of the bill, including lawmakers in northern Colorado, say this is going to make it much more difficult for oil and gas operators to get permits approved. And essentially I think what will happen is you'll destroy an oil and gas economy in, in rural Colorado and quite frankly it helps the state, helps our education, schools, property taxes. I think everyone um, from environmentalist industry want to see something pass. So the bill's House sponsor, Casey Becker, who you heard from, says this overhaul will provide some clarity and certainty for oil and gas uh, producers as we move forward. But there's no doubt that the industry does not support the provisions in this particular bill, and they will be making their voices heard today and throughout this process. We're live at the state capitol. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. A lot of people watching that closely. All right. Thank you, Nicole.